In this video, I'll show you how to convert your HDMI cable into RCA. So this is very easy and it's mostly done if you want to connect to an old CRT TV, some newer devices. There's obviously many other projects that requires you to convert HDMI to RCA. So let's get started right away. So what you need is an HDMI to RCA adapter. Now I have two of them over here. They do exactly the same thing. Actually, I got this about five years ago and it stopped working after a while. So I bought this one, but both of these do the same exact thing. I'll put links in the description from Amazon if you're interested to get one of these. So it's very important you get HDMI to RCA because RCA to HDMI also exists and this is not what you want. So you need to have a HDMI over here that is an input and not an output. So HDMI over here and the other way you have your RCA. There's two things you need to know about these adapters. And again, they work the same way. So I'll just show you on this one is that once you connect your HDMI cable here, and each of these RCAs, you will also need a power source to power the adapter. It does not work if you do not plug in. In the box, uh, they usually come with a cable, but they don't come with a power adapter. So for this one over here, you need a micro USB cable like this one, pretty common, connected over here. And you need uh, to connect it to a power brick could be five watts, even less. It's fine for this adapter, it does not require much power and plug this into your wall socket. Finally, before doing anything, you see over here, you have a small switch. Oops, it's upside down. So it's a switch between NTSC and PAL. If you're in Europe, you're probably gonna use PAL. If you're in North America, NTSC, it's the way to go. So just make sure this is switched in the right position for you. And this is it. You just converted HDMI to RCA. This way you can use it with older analog devices. And by the way, if your TV, like in my case, does not have RCA inputs, but only has a cable input, that's not a problem you'll need to run those RCA cables into an RF modulator. Again, I'll put a link in the description over here to convert RCA to aux cable. This way you'll be able to use it with your TV in case it does not have RCA in. So this is it. I hope this was useful. If so, please subscribe, leave a like, leave also a comment down below if you have other ways how to do it. And I'll see you in the next video.